Earth spins constantly, about 1,670 kilometers per hour, or 1,038 miles per hour at the equator. That spin takes 24 hours, giving us day and night. We don't feel it because everything around us, the oceans, the air, even our own bodies, spins with the Earth. This steady spin also helps shape the planet. It makes Earth slightly wider at the equator, like a squashed ball, thanks to centrifugal force. That force is strongest at the equator and nearly zero at the poles. But Earth's spin does more than just keep time. It drives weather systems, ocean currents, and even the wind patterns that guide global climates. It's why hurricanes spin and why air travels in curved paths across the planet. So, what happens if this massive spinning planet suddenly stops, even for just 10 seconds? Sounds short, right? But in that tiny window, everything changes. Scientists say this can't actually happen. There's no force powerful enough. Earth's spin holds a staggering amount of energy, so much that stopping it would take something beyond our imagination. But if we pretend it did stop? Well, everything not rooted deep in the ground would keep moving at its original speed because of inertia. Think of it like being in a car that slams on the brakes. You lurch forward. Now imagine that, but with the whole planet. At the equator, people, buildings, oceans, and even the air would keep flying eastward at over 1,000 miles per hour. That's not just fast, that's deadly. The closer you are to the equator, the faster you're moving. Near the poles, not so much. So survival would depend a lot on where you're standing. At the equator, Earth's surface is moving at around 465 meters per second. If the planet suddenly stopped spinning, that forward momentum wouldn't just disappear. You, your car, buildings, trees, everything would keep moving at that original speed. But the ground beneath stopped cold. Imagine New York City sitting at 40 degrees north. The Earth stops, but the atmosphere doesn't. It keeps moving at over 1,600 kilometers per hour. And now it has nothing holding it back. This creates a global shockwave, winds faster than anything we've ever seen. At the equator, air rushes across the surface at supersonic speeds. Concrete buildings, flattened. Trees, shredded. Entire cities, gone in seconds. Even places far from the equator, like Paris or Tokyo, would be slammed by winds over 1,200 kilometers per hour. That's stronger than any tornado or hurricane in history by a lot. This isn't weather, it's destruction on a planetary scale. The wind alone could level every city in its path. People and animals caught outside wouldn't stand a chance. Even being indoors wouldn't guarantee safety. Walls would explode, windows would shatter, and buildings would tear apart from the pressure. But wind is just the beginning. The oceans are still moving too, and they're about to unleash a second disaster. Now imagine the oceans, massive, heavy, and in motion. When Earth suddenly stops spinning, the water doesn't. It keeps going, surging eastward with unstoppable force. It's like slamming on the brakes in a giant fish tank. Only the tank is the planet, and the splash is a wall of water hundreds of meters high. These aren't your average tsunamis. These are mega tsunamis, moving faster than a jetliner and hitting harder than any storm surge in history. Coastal cities like Jakarta, Mumbai, New York, and Tokyo would be underwater within seconds. But that's not all. Because Earth is shaped slightly wider at the equator due to centrifugal force, water normally bulges there. When the spin stops, that bulge collapses. Ocean water begins to redistribute, rushing toward the poles. That means places far from the coast, places that think they're safe, could still be flooded. Inland lakes and rivers would slosh out of their beds. Entire landscapes would drown. And for the people living through this, it's about to get personal. What happens to a person caught in this moment? At the equator, you'd be launched at over 1,600 kilometers per hour that's faster than a bullet. 
and your body simply couldn't take it. Scientists say the human body can survive up to about 75 Gs of force. This, over 100. Instant death. Even if you were indoors, it wouldn't matter. Buildings collapse. Glass shatters. Furniture turns into missiles. Wind rips roofs from homes. You could be slammed into walls or crushed under falling debris in seconds. Underground bunkers? Maybe a better chance until the earthquakes begin. Tunnels crack, foundations shift, air pressure spikes, water floods in. Even the safest place becomes a tomb. But when the earth finally settles, what's left behind is a broken version of the planet we once knew. When the spinning stops and the chaos fades, what's left? Not much. Cities are gone, forests flattened, coastlines redrawn. The Earth's crust is scarred with deep fractures. Mountains may have shifted. Islands could have disappeared. And entire countries might no longer exist. The skies are choked with smoke and ash from volcanic eruptions, fires, and dust storms. Sunlight dims. Temperatures drop. A brief impact winter could follow, cooling the Earth, just like after a massive asteroid strike. The oceans, once stable, have surged toward the poles, flooding drowns higher latitudes. Equatorial regions might dry out. Rivers flow in strange new directions. Climate systems collapse. Even Earth's magnetic field could weaken temporarily. That invisible shield, powered by the spinning molten core, might flicker under the stress, disrupting satellites, compasses, and communication systems. Air is harder to breathe. Food is harder to find. Nature's rhythm is broken. And yet, somewhere out there, under the dim sky, someone might still be alive. 10 seconds. That's all it took to bring the modern world to its knees. If anyone survives, likely near the poles, they'd emerge into silence. No cities, no power, no food supply. Just ruins, wind-scarred land, and memories of a world that spun just moments ago. Those survivors would face a planet without order. Weather patterns destroyed, ecosystems collapsed, the sky darkened by ash and dust. Tells a different time. Civilization as we knew it is over. They'd have to start from scratch. Hunting, gathering, rebuilding. Over generations, stories would be passed down. About the day the sky roared, or when the earth stood still. It would become legend, myth, a whispered warning never fully understood. And through it all, the planet would slowly heal. Winds would calm, waters would settle, life would adapt as it always has. But the scars, they'd remain forever. This impossible scenario shows just how much we depend on Earth's steady spin. We take it for granted, but without it, everything changes. So next time you look up at the stars or feel the breeze across your skin, remember, we're living on a spinning miracle.